just realized the most tragic thing. Um, I traveled with my camera, but I didn't bring a battery along. Oh, the charger. I traveled with my camera, but I didn't bring the charger along. How disheartening. But a good thing my phone has good quality. This video is actually on my phone, so it's a good thing the phone has good quality video. So I'm just going to shoot everything on my phone. And uh, I just take a couple of shots with my camera. And uh, with the remaining bits of power that is in it. Anyway, that's about it. Let's continue with the review of this hotel. Yeah. So if you watch the previous video on my channel, you're going to discover that I actually traveled from Bamenda to Douala during the night and I haven't gotten any sleep. It's actually about 10 21 almost 10 30 right now and i'm feeling so sleepy it's, the light is really good you'd have seen how red my eyes were and how tired i literally am my face is literally wrinkling right now wrinkling is that wrinkling and i just need to get some rest on this big beautiful bed so uh yeah i'm gonna get some rest and continue with the rest of this thing and have yourself a wonderful wonderful time just woke up after about three hours of some good sleep this was definitely a good way to reset the day really it was anyway let's continue we have eight minutes to the end of lunch time let's see if i can run down and grab something here's a key right here. Finish lunch and I'm um, chilling in this really nice boot spot here. It's a really beautiful place. Kind of regretting why I didn't bring the child of my camera. I should have taken some really nice shots here. But I think it's, it's a beautiful experience just having it like this. It's, I think it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna sit here for a few more minutes and then uh, go into my. You know, I think I should actually be going to my room right now. Yeah. Sure. So I just got back to my room right now after a very 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 good lunch it wasn't very heavy mostly fruits and vegetables and some juice and uh usually sometimes that's how i like it i'm not a very big eater but when i do eat i eat really heavily do i really eat heavily i don't know about that but i'm not a very big eater and so sometimes i like my food very light very easy to go very very nice really and, and that's just what this lunch was and i'm um, looking forward to dinner should i even take dinner Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I want to decide when that time comes. Uh, but right now, I'm just doing some work on social media on the Premier Dev team. So, yeah, obviously the computer right here, and uh, trying to be productive all the time. Yeah, so that's really about it. Let's go. So I'm wondering if I should get um, dinner before I get my bath. But here's here's the thing, right? Here's the, the thing. 
I have already made a really nice warm bath for myself and uh, I normally don't take warm baths but you know, I feel like the whole thing yeah, probably just dip in that um, I normally don't take warm baths but it's a bit tempting to, to do, you know, since there's warm water, there's cold water and I thought, hmm, why not just one warm bath, right? Could it really hurt that much? <laughs> anyway, so I don't take warm baths for health purposes. Not like I have a health defect that doesn't pay me to take warm baths. More like I want to keep my body very healthy for as long as I possibly can. And bathing with hot water is not very good for your skin, for the epidermal tissues and cells that are on the surface of your skin. I did biology. I was a very good biology student. I'm trying. I'm not trying to brag, but uh, yeah, warm water is not very good for the skin and. Uh, but sometimes it's, but I don't know, tempting enough to want to try it out. So I guess uh, this night I'm going to be doing some uh, warm dipping in. Personally, one good thing that I've noticed about traveling out of the comfort zones that you are in, or traveling out of your small space, is that you get to see what the world is outside of what you normally see every day. You get to see how people live in different conditions, and you get to see how vast the normal possibilities could be and in some cases you get inspired by all of these stories and you get so motivated by these stories in other cases you get so discouraged because you see how difficult life is for some people in other areas and you think well how can they make it out of this and that generally just you know it really goes to increase your scope of consciousness as to what the world is or how life is in the world and sometimes it causes you to see your problems as almost insignificant you know because of the vast scope of challenge that we are going through or how big the world is it's like and sometimes i just think about it who am i in the face of all of this you know who am i in the face of all of this yes i'm trying to make a change i'm trying to make a difference but would anything be different if i weren't here you know it's an existential question that i tend to ask myself a bit more often than i should but it does it does help to increase my scope of uh consciousness or at least my knowledge or i think it does increase my knowledge so traveling helps you to see what happens around the world it helps you to see how people live their lives and coming to a resort like this which is sort of like um, should i say a relaxation resort makes you see people how they spend money you know how people could be rich or how people could be financially well to do and uh you're struggling you know it kind of polarizes things but again it makes you come into terms with what consciousness is or what living is all about and i think that's a good experience you know there are bad parts of it there are good parts of it but at the end of the day it's a worthy experience it is definitely nice to travel out of your comfort zone or out of your box explore explore what is outside of that and uh yeah what are we here for if not to just learn what is already here we can't change much we can change a lot, but we cannot change a lot, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Just got my bath, really, really warm bath. Spent a lot of time in there just soaking in and feeling it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go down right now for dinner. After that, I'll come back, do some work, and then go back for a swim uh, in the pool. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Get some rest. I think I'm going to sleep and then wake up and then spend the rest of the night awake so that I can start the program very early to avoid any lags because I have a very very bad sleeping habit where I sleep around 4 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. and then end up waking up around 11. So sleeping this night is not going to be a thing for me. Anyway, these are the challenges that we have to do with. We have to be smart about them. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. And. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this guy. He came and he walked up to me and asked me a question. Am I updated? She has done no evil. She has done no evil.
Anyway, so we just had dinner mm -hmm. and um how you, read, how, how you read your food? I had plantain and something called calamari and someone here is something and calling me How you how you read your food? I don't want to raise this because I don't Okay. Don't say anything. Okay, she doesn't want to read because you know she will get into trouble. But I'm going to go ahead and read my food. I give my food like um you know after washing it down with this soda, maybe like a five point five, you know. I mean that's about that's about average. I'm ready to take two what? Okay, okay now now she's written. I just want to the food I didn't even like I didn't know what I was doing. But it's not brush, it's okay, I guess. It's yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going back up to get some rest. I'm going to get some rest to just chill out and do something else, and then come back down for some dipping at 10 p.m. Smile for the camera. You shouldn't have smiled. You shouldn't have smiled. p.m. right now and if you know me you know that i try not to miss a single day of working out of course i do miss days there's some days that i go without working out but i try as much as possible not to miss days of working out and of course that even means working out right now in the hotel room so let's get some pumps <music> by the pool right now about to go deep in at night i don't know why someone wants to do this at a time like this but uh, here i am wanting to deep at night what's up there guys good morning it's actually the next day i'm kidding I, I didn't sleep i didn't sleep the whole night so it's about 6 10 a.m right now and uh, i'm really hungry I didn't sleep the whole night. I was actually doing some work, watching a couple of movies. Just keeping myself awake and trying to find the sleep. Because if I did sleep, like I said, I would wake up around 11 a.m. And that is bad for this. Anyway, um, so yeah, night was good. What was it? What was it? Now I'm hungry as hell. I'm just gonna get some food right now.